In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to change eye color in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have two video clips here. One is a relatively simple. There isn't much movement here. But on the other one, the model and the camera move and also she blinks. You may have seen tutorials with the use of a tint effect or color balance to change eye colors. But that doesn't work properly. You will see the color bleeds if you don't mask it very precisely. Also, when your model blinks, that means there are more masking. That takes a lot of time. But in this tutorial, I'll show you the correct and the easy method. Okay, let's start with the easy one. You can go to FX and search for Lumetri color and drag and drop it to the clip or better to change the workspace to color. First, we need to select the eye color which is blue here. Go to HLS secondary and expand it. The reason why I want to select the eye color first is that I don't want the new color to bleed. We'll use the mask later, but the masking doesn't need to be perfect. We'll see that in a bit. Okay, now pick the color picker and select the eye color. A range of color is selected here. To see which color range is selected, check this icon, color gray. Now we can clearly see which color is selected. You can add or subtract color with this plus or minus eyedropper tools. Also, you can move this hue, saturation and luminosity sliders to fine tune the selection. Here, if you move the slider, the gray part, then the color range will be changed. If you move the top arrow, then it will add or minus more range of colors. And if you move the bottom arrow, then the transition will be smoother. We don't need to select the whole iris. We just need to select the blue areas. We'll only change the blue colors, not the whole eye. Whatever your eye color is, there should be some black areas and we need to keep that black. So select only the blue areas. Add some blur to smooth the selection. After selecting it, we can uncheck color gray option. Now scroll down a bit. From the color wheel, we can change the eye color. Let's go for a green eye. When you change the color, do not overdo it. Make it subtle. If you make the color very saturated, then it won't look realistic. Let's see the before and after. Subtle change, but looks realistic. Let's go to the editing workspace. Now if there are any color bleeding, then we can mask it out. In effect controls, under Lumetri color, click create ellipse mask. Place the mask in the iris. Now the Lumetri color will only affect these circled areas. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the clip. Now track forward. Premiere Pro will automatically track it. If you see it is not properly tracked, then you can manually adjust it. But since we already targeted the color, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Similarly, create another mask and do the other eye. See, the mask isn't perfect, but we have a realistic result. Okay, let's do the second example. Here the model and the camera move and she blinks. But even in this case, the earlier method will work. Do the exact same thing for this one. Let's go to the color workspace. I need to zoom in to see the eyes properly. Now expand HLS secondary and pick the eye color with the eyedropper tool. Don't worry if you select extra. Move the sliders to fine tune the selection. Now we can change the color. I will go for blue eyes for this one. Remember, do not overdo it. Make it subtle. Let's go back to the editing workspace. Since there are some other affected areas, so we need to mask it out. Do the same thing like we did before. And there you have it. There are some limitations in this method. If your subject moves too much and there are motion blur, then it will be very difficult to select the eye color. Also, if your model has totally black eyes, then this method won't work properly. But except these two cases, this method works flawlessly. So this is how you can easily change eyes color in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hope you learned something new from it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thanks for watching.